Good morning everyone, Arjun here aka Golf Clash Kane. This is the complete walkthrough of all 18 holes played in the opening round of Expert Division in the ongoing Big Top Tournament. Please note that the elevations and the adjustments I show are based on how, on how I played these holes. Some tweaks will be needed to compensate for near misses. I used EM7, Sniper 9, Hornet 6, Grizzly 6 as my main clubs as this is a low level account. As you can see from my scorecard, I missed out on holes 5 and 14 due to poor ball guideline on my clubs and hole 15 was a botched second shot. Including these and some tweaks, a score of minus 28 or lower is easily possible. Now let's have a look at the walkthrough starting with hole 1 coming up next. Hole 1 par 4. Here we have a tailwind and I'm using big topper level 4 along with my titan ball. Full toss spin and one left spin. Now notice my ball guard line. It will go through the second bush from the right. You see the bush in the center between the tree and the small bush. It will go right through the bush there at max stretch position. Then I will adjust for maximum distance plus 10%. and full op with a slow needle and a little more than baby left curl perfect shot you hit perfect take a nice bounce on the rough and roll out for the second wedge shot shot number two if you are playing this with a wedge then it will uh, then in my case, I played this one at 40% elevation with 85% slider. And this is numbers for repeal level 6. Ball guard line going to the hole. Very important. See right there. And just in case, if you do not clip the rough and end up on, like, end up somewhere in the rough on top, then you will play Nirvana at minimum distance minus 55% elevation. I also hit an eagle with Nirvana, but unfortunately, due to many practice tokens, the game is no more in my hub. Perfect shot! So, the wedge, 40% elevation, and 85% slider. Nirvana, minimum distance, minus 55% slider. Hole to part 3. Here we have slightly tailish headwind, uh, crosswind. I'm going to play this shot with my Goliath. Three backspin and half right spin. And you will see that even with half bar of uh, right spin, we'll miss it like three to four columns on the right of the pin. So maybe you will need to use either no side spin or maybe a click or two of left spin. Backspin is enough, like the speed is fine. Elevation max plus 20% play around with the side spin in the practice ar arena first Keeping three backspin firm Perfect shot and you might just have a good chance for a hole in one here you See we are four green squares on the right four nice green squares. Hole three par five here. We have a tailwind. I'm going to make the drive very simple for us Full toss spin and two less spin on our quarterback, level 9 and 10. Now, the bullseye will be at the cut of sand and the rough there, just at the cut. Then you go for a full fledged power hook, full left curl, full OP, power hook. Yardage should be somewhere 395 to 400 yards, somewhere there. But in this case, we end up a little short. 396 yards. Short number two will be played with Guardian for an albatross approach. Now due to shorter drive, we are unable to use all the backspin we need. And we are not playing with the Zerg, we are playing with the Titan. So that's also one flaw here. But here, what I noticed is that how many rings I will need to push up once I do the adjustment. Adjustment, max plus 5%. And 
stretching out to max, I saw I would need to push up five rings. That's what I did here. Now you see me push up five rings. Now the only flaw is that I hit a great right. Had I hit a perfect shot. Great shot! Right here. I hit a great right. Had I hit a perfect, it would have directly landed in the hole for a sweet albatross. Nice on! Hole four, par three. Here we have a crosswind and I'm going for a rough bump in this case with my sniper level nine. Here, first I check with three left spin. Then I come two left of the pin. Then I change my left spin to have the ball gun going through the hole. In this case, which is about two left spin and one top spin. You will see that e even with two left spin and ball guardling going through the hole, we will still miss it towards the right. So we need to tweak the left spin here. Elevation. I played this one. Maximum distance plus 20% power three ball as you are playing with the kingmaker. No curl whatsoever. Center of the ball. Try to hit perfect. Perfect shot. See the speed is very good, but we miss it just to the left of the uh, to the right of the pin. So maybe 2.3 nice to 2.5 left spin, and you will have a good chance for a pull in one. Pull five part four. Here we have a cross headwind. I'm playing with the Titan ball and next to my level seven. Full toss spin to right spin. Drive is going to be fairly simple, keeping the ball guideline in center of the next fairway, right there and you play this one at max plus 10 percent no need of any op or any curl whatsoever the center of the ball try to hit perfect perfect shot here what you would like is to have that roll after the second and the third bounce but in this case i do not get any roll whatsoever Shot number two will be played with your shot iron. Now, in order to find that funnel, you need to have a shot iron with a good ball guard line, which was not the case with me because Hornet level six does not have a fully developed ball guard line. And that's why I struggled here a lot. And due to the time constraint, I couldn't find the perfect position. However, I picturized my ball guard line going through the hole. Very important to know, always use one top spin max because that is all you will need to get the ball guard line going through the hole. If you use more toss spin, you will come in hot and bounce off the pin. I played medium distance plus 15%. And I did hit perfect, but I still miss it close to the right. Mainly because I did not have a fully uh, developed perfect ball guard line. So that was that what was uh, lagging here. Just to the right of the pin. But with the fully double ball guard match, nice you will have a very sweet chance for an eagle here. Hole 6, par 5. Here we have a tailwind. Going for a power slice is an option, but on this account, I do not have the apocalypse unlock, so we are going to play safe using the extra mile and the sniper for the second shot. Four and a half toss spin to left spin, keeping the ball guard line centered on that a little. I would say scoop area and elevation max plus 20 percent make sure the ball guard line is centered on that fairway very important try to hit perfect great shot minute great left but we were still safe as we have a wind push from left to right Shot number two will be played with our sniper, level 9, 10. Now, you can go for a rough bump here going from the left side of the tree, le red, left side of the red tree there. You can indeed attempt a rough bump. But I went for b a backspin approach, backspin and right spin combination, five bars of backspin and three right spin. Keeping the ball guard line going a little above the hole because we want to use that funnel and 
have the ball guard line fall down towards the pin. Elevation medium distance plus 10%. Great shot! Again, a great shot. So we do not get that funnel catch we, we were expecting. Maybe a perfect would have been in, but that's all. Nice yeah, shot! We are taking a chance on that. Hole 7 par 4. Here we have a crosswind right to left. For the drive, I'm going to use my quarterback level 9. Full backspin to right spin. Now half of the clear ring by the rough on the right and adjustment is 1 is to 1 minus 1 so 11.9 will be 10.9 rings here. Curl right inside the two rings on the right. Perfect shot! Now shot number two will be played with your long iron which may be the backbone, grizzly, b52, goliath. In my case it is grizzly level six. Now what I was trying to do here is to hit eagle from the front but to my, like it was fortuitous that the ball rolled down and hit for an eagle. So playing the shot at maximum distance plus 15% and all I used was a click backspin and the left spin would vary the ball guard line should be towards the pin so left spin would vary and a click backspin center the ball and try to hit perfect perfect shot perfect ball and you will see we do come from the left side and then roll down towards the pin for a sweet eagle oh. Hole 8 part 3, this shot can be played either with sniper level 10 or guardian at any level, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm using guardian level 7. 6.5 backspin and I used 0.5 right spin, 0.5 to 0.6 right spin but I would recommend using 1 right spin. You will see the reason why I say that. Yellow ring by the rough and ball guard line at least 1 or 2 green square short of the pin. Elevation, medium distance plus 10%. Try to hit perfect. Perfect shot! See, we come in with a very nice speed, but we miss it on the left. Nice so that 0.5 right spin extra can give us a sweet drop. Whole line par 5. Here we have a crosswind going left to right. So the drive is going to be fairly simple. One and a half toss spin and two left spin. At plus six yard mark, half of the red ring inside the rough on the left. Right there. Then you adjust for max plus 10%. Once you do the adjustment, half ball left curl, try to hit a perfect drive. Perfect shot! Nice perfect drive and we have a clear view for the second shot. Shot number two will be played with your power wood club which might be the cataclysm or the big dog. In my case it is big dog level seven two right spin and about seven bars of toss spin six to seven bars now here i use six so six bars of toss spin and two right spin now you adjust the shot for max plus 10 percent and for the overpower i use outer ring you see so that is approximately five rings I use the outer ring for overpower and try to hit perfect. Perfect shot! Nice perfect drive. Sorry, nice perfect shot. 
and you will be at a very sweet position for a safe eagle. For hole 10, we are, I'm going to show you two drives. First, I played this drive in the practice arena to test it out. So I'm aiming my bullseye on the right corner, right bottom corner of the next fairway. Two left spin and half a bar of back spin. Then I realized backspin might be a little too much, so I switch it to toss spin instead. I use one and a half toss spin and two right spin. Again, the bullseye on the right bottom of the next fairway. And then we go for overpower. Max OP and about 1.2 ball curl to the right. Try to hit perfect. Great shot. I hit a great left. Take a very nice bounce on the fairway. Clip the rough on the fringe for a sweet and safe eagle. Now, this shot I played in the actual round. So again, the same adjustment, 1.5 toss spin, two right spin, aiming the bullseye on the bottom right fairway, bottom right corner of the next fairway on the left. Then, max op same curl but this time i use a little extra curl unintentional extra curl perfect there shot. even though i hit perfect you, uh, we will see we clip the rough hard which we don't want to so reduce the curl and you might be on the green for a safe putt now if you're on the green you will have a safe putt if not then you can play this shot using the eb rule 20% elevation at 30% slider. Ball guard line going through the hole. See ball guard line going through the hole. Once again, 20% elevation, 30% slider, and you try to hit perfect. Perfect shot! And you will have a sweet eagle. Eagle! Hole 11, part three. Here I'm going for a rough bump. This is a kind of risky rough bump. So if you do not feel comfortable, you can just go hop over approach from the sand and rough from, from the left side using all the right spin on a Kingmaker or Titan and play it safe. But if you want to have a chance for a hole in one, I guess a rough bump is the best way to go here. Now I played this shot one is to one plus 0.5. So 9.3 was 9.8 rings. Try to hit perfect. Perfect shot! Clip the rough nice. And we just miss it to the left nice level. Nice shot! Hole 12 par 5. Here we have a tailwind. You can play with a power 5 zerk and apocalypse. But as we do not have epoch, I do have Zerks, but I am saving them for the for the weekend round. So for now, using the big topper, max toss spin, one left spin, and the Titan ball. Keeping my second boss near the rough on the right, on the right top, as is, as you can see there. Elevation, I played max plus 10%. A little curl to the left. Perfect shot! We take a very nice bounce. Nice second bounce. What a nice roll there. Yeah. 
Shot number two, again, the attempt for the Albatross will be played with the help of the Guardian. Now here, elevation was correct, max plus 5%, but you will need to tweak your backspin. If you're playing with a power 3 ball like I am with the Titan, you will need to tweak backspin in the practice arena. Or if you're playing with a Berserker ball and going with the Apocalypse approach, then you can just have the backspin and the second bounce two green squares of the left of the pen. One left spin, seven to eight bars of, uh, of backspin in, in my case. I stretch out my target to max to notice how many rings would I need to push. And that amount of rings I push up. But again, the backspin was a little extra here. Perfect shot! That's why we end up short. We come in nice, but due to some extra backspin, we are here. So maybe tweak the backspin and you will have a good chance for an albatross. Nice on! Hole 13, par 3. Crosswind, right to left. You can play with a kingmaker if you want to reduce the wind further, but 8.9 with the titan is not that bad. Blue ring touching the rough on the left. Two right spin. Now here, the only thing that needs to be changed is the amount of curl. Adjustment, one is to one. You will see I use a little less than half wall. Sorry, I use about 90% right curl, but... Perfect shot! Considering the miss on the left, I guess you can play with one ball right curl if playing with a Titan. Nice on! Hole 14, par 4. Here we have a tailwind. I was planning to go with uh, the funnel approach, trying to find the funnel approach without any ball guideline on my Hornet level 6, but unfortunately I catch like two three glitch rolls here and end up in the bunker see max toss spin and right spin ball guard line in center of the fairway elevation max plus 15 percent five percent extra because we can expect an unusual push from the tailwind so just to compensate for that adding five percent more perfect shot but even the five percent did not save us and we got multiple rolls here one two three and we are in the bunker. Now, even from the bunker, I try to use the funnel using the Malibu. Here, see, we cast that funnel right there. I tweak my spins. I try to find the funnel. But due to the time constraint, I couldn't get like a sweet spot there. Tried various spins. Tried to change my location. The location of my bullseye see there I got that sticky spot there I mean I have already caught the funnel but again tweaking the spins trying to find a sweet spot but as soon as I do the clock was ticking and I had to rush it in I played this one minimum distance plus 10 percent and you will see that I hit a great left but even with a great left we were very close perfect would have been a definite drop Great shot! See, great left there. A perfect would have been a drop, so hopefully you don't nice get on. roll into the bunker and have a sweet chance for an eagle. Hole 15, par 5. Crosswind again from right to left. Full toss spin, 3 left spin using the kingmaker ball. Now here the drive was very nice. It went smooth, nothing wrong went in, uh, went here. Red ring by the rough at, at plus 11 yard mark at first, but then I realized I have more room, so I used plus 12, half of the red ring by the rough on left. Elevation max plus 20%. Some baby left curl. Great shot!
great right, but we, uh, great left, but we, we were still safe here. Caught that roll there, very helpful. Now for shot number two, I'm going to show you my opponent's play. The reason being my shot went into the rough because I completely botched it. Second shot was completely botched as I couldn't find a spot to pull my rings or push my rings because trees were both on the left and the right. So just for reference, I guess my opponent is just eyeballing the rings, but here you can make your own tweaks and play your own shot here. Great shot! I did not pay attention to the spin he was using, but even though he missed the albatross, he was still very safe for an eagle. Nice on! Hole 16, part 4. Here we have ascended tailwind. If you have higher level APOC, 4, 5, 6, and a berserker ball, you can obviously go on the right side. That's what I thought of doing at first as well. I was having a zerk, but then I switched my mind because I just might not have enough curl on extra mile 7. So instead, I went for a power slice, full toss spin to right spin. Bullseye just cutting the two patches of rough there. See, and then full right curl, a power slice. Due to lack of toss spin, we clipped the rough, but we were still in clear view of the pin. Shot number two. I was playing with my short iron here, using all the backspin towards the pin, all the backspin and the side spin towards the pin. In this case, it was only backspin, no side spin needed. Make sure the bounce is on the front so that you get an even bounce. Now, I played this one. Let me check. I played this one 10% elevation at true club distance. Sorry, I played 15%. But I would recommend playing this one at 10%. Perfect shot! The reason why 15% was just a little too extra. And you missed it on the right. So 10% would be the ideal elevation to play the shot from that distance. From memory, it was 35% slider nice and 10% elevation. Hole 17 part 3. This hole I just played it safe due to the time crunch. I went the same approach I went on the front line, but it wasn't fruitful, obviously. So just mark it as safe, or you can wait for any other streamer to put their content out so that you can have a better reference. But if you just want to have a safe eagle, because in most of the cases, people roll into rough or sand on top, or they roll down and they have a difficult wedge, or they are in the rough on left or right. So many possible hazards here but this is a safe approach again medium distance plus 10 percent perfect shot 6.5 backspin and one right spin away but for a nice on. very safe putt final hole hole 18 per five here we have a tailwind now if you have a Apocalypse level 5 6 and a power 5 win 0 ball. Then you can take the bounce on the pad and directly go onto the next fairway there and have an attempt with a short iron slash long iron for the albatross. But here we are playing with low level clubs. So going with the same approach one backspin, three left spin at plus 6 yard mark half of the red ring inside the rough. I played max plus zero, so no elevation in this case. You can gamble with 0.5 backspin, but just to be safe, I use one backspin. Perfect shot. Now, momentarily, it may seem like we are just behind the tree, but we are still safe. Yeah. 
like I was saying at first it seemed like we will have three completely but a little move to the left and we are having a yellow ball guard line which is good three right spin and four toss spin see right there red ring just covering the two trees on the left and the right now I was looking for how many rings I need to push after I made my adjustment and, and it came out to be 2.8 to 2.9 rings the, and that's the same I will push now pushing up 2.8 rings no need of any OP whatsoever no need of any curl just hit perfect perfect shot nice perfect shot nice bounce onto the green for an easy putt for an easy nice arm. 